Well, Steve, that was a thoroughly entertaining match. What's your overriding emotion after the performance and the result? Please for the players. Please for the players. Obviously, they, they, they suffered in the summer more, more than anybody. We did a lot of work uh, in, the, in the very short preparation time that we had. Most of it pretty boring in the lecture room, walking through things on the pitch. We gave them a lot of information. Obviously, they took it on board. Uh, the way they played, the way they executed, how we wanted to play was, was excellent. It took us a long time to get the goal, but when the goal came, it obviously helped them a little bit. They relaxed and we, we managed to get a couple more near the end. So the, the score line looks good, but we still have a lot of work to do in the group. Was that a key point for you after what happened in summer, that the players did themselves justice and they played the way you know they can out there? I think for everybody that, that was the, the case. We'd been in a, a really good moment. Mm. The, the, the summer was what it was. Uh, sometimes in football things don't go your way and you, you, you have to respond. So it's nice that we've responded in this manner, but we have a tough game coming up Saturday, so ready to go again. You spoke about Ukraine's quality before the game. How much confidence, therefore, does this give the players ahead of Saturday? I, th I think you see that, like I said before, it took a long time. It was, a, it was quite an open game, first half, end to end. L lots of half chances second half we started creating more I think if you beat a, a team of Ukraine's quality and it ends up quite comfortable then you have to take some confidence from it but we know also that Ireland are a good team they'll come here they've had a full week preparation they've had a clear week uh, we, we're still playing catch up uh, because of the circumstances out in, in Ukraine which, which is fine we'll deal with that and we'll be ready for Saturday What did you say to the players at half time because other than some breaks you know with the balls over the top from Ukraine the momentum was very much w with Scotland heading into that second yeah, period we, we, we just spoke about having a good control of the game making sure we started the second half on the front foot getting getting back on top of the game and eventually or hopefully <laughs> the goal would come and, and it did John did well on the edge of the box strong yeah. strong to hold the defender off gets another goal for his for his rep repertoire and, and then it's always nice as a manager when you make a couple of changes and, and they're, they're involved in the next two goals, so that's that's good. I was going to say that inspired substitutions, no? No, no, the players make you good. Yeah, but that's the point, isn't it? You've got players hungry to come off the bench and make an impact. I think when you get to that stage of the game, you're looking for fresh legs anyway. Shea, mm -hmm. Shea was fantastic. Uh, Shea's probably a, probably a little bit disappointed that he missed a couple of chances. Mm -hmm. But don't forget the work that he put into the game so that when, when Linden goes on up front, those defenders are tired because Shea's been working them all night. And Linden gets the reward tonight, and maybe in the future it'll be Shea that gets the rewards. Do you think Ukraine were lucky to have 11 players on the pitch at the end of the first half, given that challenge on Shea? Well, I thought it was, I was, I thought it was a robust challenge. I haven't, and, and this is genuine, I'm not just yeah. saying it, I haven't looked at it going back, but let's, let's not dwell on that one. Shea's a strong boy, and fortunately he's OK. And just finally, what's the, the verdict on Nathan Patton? He obviously went off on a stretcher. That didn't look yeah, too... Yeah, doesn't look too good when they go off on a stretcher. He, he obviously felt something on, the, on his leg. Uh, we'll just wait and see what the medics say and how it, how it pans out. Hopefully not too serious and hopefully not out too long. Will you look to call any more players up ahead of Ireland? We'll go away. We'll have a little chat about it now. And I would imagine that I'll need to call at least... David Turnbull will pull out the squad. Uh, he, he picked up an ankle knock at the weekend that we mm -hmm. thought would clear up. It's not going to clear up in time for us, so he's better to go back to his club and, and get ready for their next game. Mm -hmm. uh, so two players light up. I'll probably need to call at least, at least one, maybe two players. Thanks very much. Thanks, Emma.